an unusual AM broadcast receiver, picked up cheaply from an op shop. It looks as if it was built in about the 1980s. It is a novelty receiver for several reasons. Firstly, it is built as a pair of headphones. Therefore, you can listen without causing annoyance to others or dangly cords. Secondly, it is AM only. Most radio receivers built at the time that this was made covered AM and FM. Thirdly, it uses a very simple TRF receiver. TRFs were used in the early days of radio around the 1920s. It was then made obsolete by the Superhead design, which was more complicated but offered better performance. However, this set was obviously built down to a price and is one of the few examples of relatively modern TRF receivers. Let's have a look inside. Just as with any transistor radio, there is a tuning capacitor and a ferrite rod coil. However, you'll notice there are no IF transformers. All of the selectivity is achieved in just one tuned circuit in the front end. It looks just like a transistor, but here is the MK484. This is similar to the ZN414, which was popular for those building simple AM radios in the 1970s and 1980s. Finally, there are two transistors. These permit enough drive to the headphone speakers. As mentioned before, the overall performance of the set is not as good as a Superhead. It is less sensitive and less selective. However, it is still suitable for reception in metropolitan areas. The most annoying thing about it is when you're walking around, you turn a corner, the station disappears because the ferrite rod is turned around. This is something that FM radios do not suffer. Let's have a quick tune across the AM broadcast band. At the moment we're listening to 1377 3MP and we're tuning downwards. You'll notice signal levels vary because the receiver's AGC is inferior to other sets that are superheads.